the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 317, Acts 3-5, to The Second Sanhedrin Assembly The early Jerusalem church began and the disciples who received the Holy Spirit performed miracles in the name of Jesus and preached the gospel. First point, Peter proclaimed that Jesus came to the world as predicted by the prophets at Solomon's colonnade in the Jerusalem temple. Peter and John went together to the Jerusalem temple in order to pray together. When they found a man who could not walk, sitting near the door of the temple, they healed him in the name of Jesus. They were able to heal in the name of Jesus as taught by Jesus. When the people gathered, Peter gave his second public speech, following his first during Pentecost. To the people, Peter said, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we had made this man walk? Peter very clearly stated that the power was given by Jesus Christ. Peter then rebuked the sins of the Jews for killing Jesus and then testified Jesus' resurrection. Peter also emphasized that the healing of the man was done in the name of Jesus Christ. Peter moreover told the people who had gathered there to repent and to be forgiven of their sins. Peter declared that Jesus was the Messiah who had come to the world, as predicted by all the prophets since Samuel. Jesus had come to the Jews first, who were the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as promised by God. As such, Jesus had been predicted by the prophets, and through Jesus, their words were fulfilled. Second point, Peter and John received their trial by the Sanhedrin assembly, where Jesus also received his trial. With the healing of the man who could not walk, Peter and John became the center of the people's attention. Furthermore, when Peter stood at Solomon's colonnade in the Jerusalem temple and confidently declared and testified Jesus, this of course captured the interest of the high priests and the Sadducees. When Peter started to catch the attention of the diaspora Jews, who were the ultimate VIP in Jerusalem for shopping in the court of the Gentiles, this really became a problem for the high priests. The Jerusalem temple was marked by 71 members of the Sanhedrin assembly who enjoyed enormous prestige from the temple. They were the ones who believed that the temple belonged to them. The apostles came marching into the temple and testified Jesus' resurrection. Consequently, the Sadducees arrested the apostles and kept them till the morning. However, before being arrested, the apostles had converted 5,000 people into believers of Jesus through their testimony. Because of this, the Sanhedrin assembly decided to hold an urgent meeting and to furthermore open a trial. The opening of the second trial was in itself an insult to the Sanhedrin assembly. This was because they had already had the first trial with Jesus. And now things had taken its toll. They were furious for having to open a second trial. When the Sanhedrin assembly arrested Jesus, the disciples were so afraid that they all ran away. Peter, who watched the trial from a distance, ended up denying Jesus three times out of fear. Their behavior was so pitiful that the Sanhedrin assembly did not feel the need to arrest the disciples. However, these disciples completely changed and became an increasing threat to the Sanhedrin assembly. Thus, they had to open a second trial, which was really not something they wanted to do. Third point. 
During the trial by the Sanhedrin assembly, Peter testified that Jesus had resurrected. The first Sanhedrin assembly trial was the trial of Jesus, and it occurred during Passover. The second Sanhedrin assembly trial was the trial of the apostles, and this occurred right after Pentecost. The trial began with the questioning from the assembly members. When they started questioning the apostles and created an atmosphere of fear, Peter replied confidently. This, of course, shocked the Sanhedrin assembly. According to their information, the apostles were the disciples of Jesus who did not have much knowledge or courage to stand before the assembly. When Peter started his public speech, they had to proclaim him innocent. However, the assembly threatened the apostles to stop spreading the word of Jesus. To them, Peter declared that he would continue to spread the word of Jesus no matter what. First point, the early church testified Jesus' resurrection and witnessed miracles. After the trial by the Sanhedrin assembly, the apostles were set free, and they returned to the Jerusalem church to report all that had happened. Afterwards, the people in the church all gathered to pray. Amazingly, after the second trial by the Sanhedrin assembly, the believers in Jesus increased from 3,000 to 5,000. This was when the Jerusalem church came together to witness miracles. When financial difficulties struck the Jerusalem church, a man named Joseph, who was called Barabbas, sold all his possessions and offered it to the church. Unfortunately, the incident of Ananias and Sapphira also occurred. Among the church community was a man named Ananias who tricked the people to gain honor. Because of this, he and his wife died. Fifth point, due to the jealousy of the Pharisees, the apostles received their third trial by the Sanhedrin assembly. The third Sanhedrin assembly trial opened, and this was because the high priests and Sadducees were jealous of the apostles. However, before the start of the trial, the apostles were rescued. The Lord's angel appeared before them and opened the doors of their cells, and this was so that they could go to the Jerusalem temple and spread the living word to the people. The apostles went to the Jerusalem temple, and rather than running away, they once again taught the people about Jesus' cross and resurrection, which of course completely set off the Sadducees. The situation was similar to when Jesus was around. The apostles were followed and supported by the people, and this increasingly threatened the Sanhedrin assembly. The Sanhedrin assembly once again dragged the apostles to court, and the high priest started questioning them. To his questions, Peter and the other apostles answered. They repeated what was said during the second trial. This completely set off the Sanhedrin assembly, and they shouted to kill the apostles. Here, a member of the assembly called Gamaliel came forward. The third assembly ended with the apostles being flogged. Like the first time, the apostles were threatened to stop spreading the word of Jesus. The beating that the apostles received was different from the ones that Jesus received. Jesus received the punishment according to the Roman Empire, and the apostles received the punishment according to the laws written in Deuteronomy. The apostles, however, rejoiced as they had been counted worthy of suffering for Jesus. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference 
And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.